deal here where I can uh, shoot the ether in it. This is my baby I found in a junkyard in Buckeye, Arizona about uh, three years ago. And I'd spent about three years trying to find it. A guy had been telling me about this uh, real long nose K Model International with a great big six cylinder gas engine in it with two, two barrel carburetors on it. And I couldn't imagine what it could be because I'd never heard of a KB12. And uh, finally, after he gave me good enough directions, I found it. and. Uh, took some pictures of it and it had the big uh, Continental gas engine in it, the 200 horse Continental. A few of them came with uh, 165 Cummins in them, but this one had the Continental. So after we got it home and uh, we decided it was the truck that we was going to concentrate on, I'd been building a, an NHRS 300 Cummins for a few years and had it about ready to put in a truck, so we finished it up quick and, and uh, with feeler gauges and Vaseline we stuffed it in under this hood. And of course, there's not much room for a big radiator in the front, so we record the radiator, and then I put a second radiator behind the cab with three fans on it, and I split the water, and half of it goes to each radiator. Okay, try again. There's the radiator. It's a, a low-flow, cross-flow uh, Cummins radiator, and it does a good job. I turn the fans on when I need them, you know, just which isn't very often. And then inside, we... Uh, we lowered the floor down. These had a riser in them and just a bench seat, and, and I knew that uh, I couldn't handle that. So we uh, cut the floor down, put a pair of Bolstrom air rides in it. And the old steering wheel here I'd had hanging around on the wall for about 15 years beside my easy chair. So me and the steering wheel is pretty familiar, so we, uh, I decided this was a truck it ought to go on. And behind the big uh, supercharged engine, I got a 13-speed Road Ranger and a three, the old original three-speed brown light uh, transfer case and a two-speed rear end with high gears in it. So that gives me a total of 78 gears. And in high gear, 78th gear at, at 1500 RPM, I'm running 70 mile an hour. So it's just about right for, the, for today's traffic. And that was my idea in building this truck was to, to, uh, to build one like someone would have done in about 1952. Uh, dolled it up like they would have with a pair of stacks on it. and. Uh, put the ultimate state-of-the-art engine in 1952 in it. So that's, that's what I ended up with, so I could run with the, with the load on behind it and run with the other trucks out on the highway and not be holding them up. I'd, I would drive it to truck shows all over the country. We just finished it in May, and uh, I've been to the East Coast once and to the West Coast twice with it, and I'm going to Palmdale, California next week and drag it in uh, quarter-mile truck drags in Palmdale, California. You can see we named her the other woman because this is the one I spent all the time with and all the money on for about a year and a half. And here you can you can see pretty much that the engine compartment is just absolutely full. There's no room left anywhere. We, it fit really tight in there. You can see it's got the Ellis uh, Dually manifolds on it, Dually exhaust manifolds, aftermarket manifolds, like some of the guys ran back uh, in the early 50s on these engines. So it has a stack uh, exhaust sound like some of the trucks did in, in the 50s. I run them open. I run them open all the way across the country. Everywhere I go, I run them open, except right here in my own hometown, I have to close them up because they don't want any noise. We borrowed the alternator off a D9 cat, and uh, it, we got an aftermarket mount on there, the bottom mount, an aftermarket mount, and then I made the, the top, uh, the part that, that actually ties it down, I designed that and put it on there.
We didn't want it to get away from us, that's for sure. You can see the wheels and tires we went with uh, with what they would have done in the early 50s to doll a truck up. They're the first generation Alcoa uh, five hole, five hand hole Alcoas with 22 inch, 1022 rubber on it. The trailer is a unique trailer. It's a 52 trail mobile. It's a truck transport trailer. Just like my car transport trailer is a for hauling cars, this trailer was designed expressly for what I'm using it for, for hauling trucks. It's got uh, grooves built in it from back to front. A blind man could load two trucks on it and tie them down in about 15 minutes. It's got 20 winches built in. You don't have to carry any chains or any binders to, uh, to tie it down. You just run the trucks on and hook the appropriate chains that are already built in the trailer up to the axles of the truck and pull them down with the winches and you're ready to go. It also has a very unique automatic landing gear on it, which was uh, patented by uh, Gustav Fruhoff back in uh, at, right after the turn of the century. I've seen a 1919 trailer of theirs that had this on it. And uh, I suppose uh, Trailmobile built this trailer with that patented landing gear under license of, uh, of Fruhoff so they could do it. It works really well. It's just a good invention. <laughs>